Okay, so the cat's out of the bag. Intelligent diagnostics. That's where the power of the Ultra lies. And this is going to streamline your repair process in the shop on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're back on the topology screen and you can see that we have multiple codes throughout this car. We have codes in the ECM and the hybrid powertrain control module and the TCICM. We're going to select TCICM. When you select that, it's going to give you the definition of what that module is. This is the telematics and communications module. On that module, you're going to see two things. You're going to see an arrow and that's going to take us directly into that module. That's going to take us into our active tests, our special functions, our live data, module information, your normal stuff. The normal stuff that you're used to on your Maxisys tool. But if you look next to that, there is an icon with a wrench in it. Let's take you there, because that is your intelligent diagnostics. Intelligent diagnostics is the information you need to know to make the right decision of where to take your repair process next. You'll notice at the top of the screen that we have our telematics code. This is going to be our B101 David. And that has a drop down menu. So if you have multiple codes, you can select those multiple codes directly from that screen. You'll notice on the left hand side that you have service bulletins. Yes, we provide the technical service bulletins directly onto the tool. So you can see that there is a TSB for a B101 David. And if we wanted to, we can select onto that. And that takes us directly to that technical service bulletin to give us information about that system. And you can see all the information about the OnStar system and the TSB directly from the tool. So let's back that back out. And you'll see the next box, which is DTC analysis. DTC analysis is going to give us a ton of information about that code. It's going to give us the DTC description, the fault description. What information does it take to set that code? Well, what does that code mean? It's going to give us the condition, what things have to happen for that code to set. It's also going to give us possible causes of why that code would set and possible solutions of what it's going to take to fix that code. So now we know that there's a TSB on it. We know what it takes to set the code. We also know what it could be a possible cause and possible solutions. So now we can take that information, we can go back to the customer, and we can get more information out of that customer to make sure we're following the right diagnostics path. We'll escape back out of there. And again, I talked about this drop down at the top of the screen. So let's say we drop that down. We want to look at other codes within that system. We can do that as well. We're going to look at the intake air temperature sensor. And you'll notice when we do that, we have the same thing. There's no TSBs for that. There's a DTC analysis. But if we skip down to the bottom of the screen, you'll notice it says component measurement. Well, what's that all about? Well, remember in that hardware section where I talked about there's a scope built into the VCMI? That's what we're talking about. We're going to take you directly from diagnostics right into that component measurement. So let's take that intake air temperature sensor. We're going to jump right into it. And that takes us right into our scope module. If we select this little light bulb here on the side, that's going to give us the preset case. So it's going to tell us about that. It's going to tell us the general purpose of this test is to measure the signal. It's going to tell us what we need in that test kit, it's going to tell us what to pull out of the case to be able to test this. It's going to tell us the important information. We're going to have a picture of here is how you hook it up. It tells us that we have to have a dedicated ground because our four channel lap scope is independent ground. So you have to have a ground on each independent one. It's going to tell us how to hook it up to that sensor. We're going to back back out of there. And it's going to show us a picture of how to actually connect it on that vehicle. So it's telling us where exactly to connect that at. And it's going to give us more information. It's going to tell us to start the engine and how to look at the waveform to make sure that we have the right waveform the first time. And that is done in the example. And actually, that example is what automatically popped up on the screen. That is the waveform, a known good waveform for that application directly from the tool. We didn't pull anything extra out. We didn't go grab another tool built into your Maxisys Ultra Tablet. And that is pretty darn cool.
So when we're looking at the waveform analysis, it's going to tell us an example. And it's also going to tell us related DTCs. Tons, tons of information built into that box. If we want to see that bigger, we can do that by selecting the arrows, and that's going to take up the full screen, and we can shrink that back down. If we push that little light again, that information will slide back. And then we're ready to test. Now it tells us how to hook it up, tells us what connectors we need, tells us what it's supposed to look like, and you're up and running. So while we're on that subject of a scope, Let's talk about the VCMI because you're going to love this. I'm going to back out of the intelligent diagnostics and I am going to escape and go all the way back out of this vehicle. Now from the main screen of your tool, you're going to notice that there's a lot of extra icons. You have diagnostics, which we normally use, the service function, yep, ADOS, yes, you can add ADOS to this tool. Our data manager measurement, measurement. Measurement, that's new. Let's look at that one. If we go into measurement, you're going to see all your different options that have to do with the VCMI and the scope functions built into the tool. The first one is going to be oscilloscope. Just like we showed you in the intelligent diagnostics, it's going to give us information about different systems, how to hook them up, and known good waveforms. And you, as a technician, you can contribute to those known good waveforms as well to increase and build our library or you can save your own known good waveforms on the tool to compare later on down the road or from injector to injector or from coil to coil. You can do that as well. If we select the car icon up there at the top, you have all your different sensors and combinations and information. So we can test all the different sensors, oxygen sensors, uh, pressure sensors, and more from the oscilloscope portion of the tool. If you look down here at the bottom, you'll see your four channels and the automatic settings for those. We'll back back out of that. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes, I am. Because we can talk about the waveform generator and the multimeter. And I showed you those earlier, the different ports for the DVOM on the back side of the tool. So let's select the multimeter. When we go into multimeter, it's going to tell us the different information about that system. So we can select the different systems. It's going to tell us how to hook up to that system and we can change our measurements. We can measure voltage, AC, DC, we can measure resistance, and our tablet becomes a ginormous wireless DVOM. If we back out of that screen and go back to our waveform generator, we can use this tool to generate and create waveforms. So let's say we have a sensor that's given us all kinds of troubles and we're not sure if it's the sensor or if it's the wiring. We can push a known good waveform through that system and see what the scan tool gives us back to make sure that it's correct. Make sure that that network is all working the way that it's supposed to. So we give you all the information about how to set that up, how to, the user manual, and how to go through that process to create waveforms. If we collect the files down, you can open waveforms that you have built. You can also see the different options in that waveform generator. That is a game changer. Oh, by the way, did I mention it's wireless? I think I did. I was just checking to see if you were listening. So we're going to go back again. And we're talking about a lot of cool stuff here, but you ain't seen nothing like this. If we select OBD, we are actually changing our VCMI scope to scope the vehicle through the OBD2 port. So right now you can see that we are on the high speed CAN protocol. We don't, no breakout box needed, no extra wires, no trying to probe into that OBD2 port. We can see exactly what the network is seeing and we can see if there's communication going on. So right here at the bottom, you're gonna see that you have all your different protocols, J1939, high speed CAN, low speed CAN. You can change the voltages that you're running in to be able to see all the different options. We're going to select view high speed CAN and we're going to select view waveform. If we push play, I messed up. And what I did was I have it connected via Bluetooth. 
So we need to connect this tool via Wi-Fi to run it wirelessly. I'm going to show you how to do that because I messed up. So we're going to go down here to VCMI and here's your VCMI connection. We want to select connect via Wi-Fi. Do you want to select Wi-Fi connection? Answer to that is yes. Now we're changing our connection from Bluetooth to Wi-Fi, which provides us a stable, fast, and secure connection between your tablet and your VCMI. We're going to go back to our scope functionality. We're going to select high speed CAN and CAN high speed. And this is pin six down here at the bottom. You can see pin six, pin 14. We're going to select play. And you can see my high speed CAN on the Chevy Volt right on the tool. Did I mention it's wireless? Just making sure you're listening. So there's our high speed network. Let's look at our low speed. Oh look, can high, can low. Directly from the OBD2 port. Let's pause that. I wanna look at that packet so I can zoom in on it. Let's zoom in on that information. And you can see all the packet information right there on the screen. Plain as day that we have communication, no issues, no glitches, and I didn't plug anything else into it, just using the VCMI. You have your triggers, your indicators, and a huge buffer built into that as well. Pretty cool stuff. So the scope built into the VCMI, gotta love it.